What's our mission today, Captain? I'm ready for any... Shiver me whiskers! What's that big green thing? Some sort of humongous blob monster heading towards us? I'm tracking a large mass of plankton to see how wind and waves affect its path. A mass of what? Plankton! That large patch of plankton is actually made up of teeny tiny little things. Uh, oh yeah. You see, there are little animals and little green plants in the plankton. <laughs> but what's our mission, Captain? Well, the plankton is our mission for the next few weeks. You mean we're just going to sit here and watch little bits of green gunk? We can learn big things from little things, Quasi. Aye, like how to go stir-crazy with your tail stuck in one place. Um, Quasi, I think Tweak could use some help with the Gup X. The Gup X? Well, now you're talking! I don't know, Quasi. Seems to me you're better at wrecking Gups and helping fix him. Oh, come on, matey. What have you got to lose? A Gup. Please? <sighs> All right, follow me. What do you need me to do? Drive the tank up the side of an undersea volcano? See how fast the glider can fly upside down? Nope. You want me to just sit on the octo ski? You can try to get it going after I clean all the plankton out of the engine. Don't worry, I'll get her started. Wait, Quasi! First, I gotta. But how do I get it to stop? It's stuck! <laughs> Quasi to tweak. Come in. A high octopod. Anybody? Ah, <sighs> no problem. Me pirate senses tell me the octopod's just a little bit back that way. Okay. A lot of it back. Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Left, right, it's a skate. bug walking Left, on water. Right, skate. Not just any bug, my friend. I'm a sea skater. Call me Strider, the only insect who can live on the ocean all the time. Amazing! But true, I've got these little waterproof hairs on my legs that let me walk on the waves, yeah? That's a fancy trick for someone so little. Hey, I may be little, but I do big things. Ah, quit showing off. You're not the only one who can walk on water. Oh, yeah, this is my wife, Sally. Hiya. Sally's a she-skater. All the she-skaters are bigger than the he-skaters. Hey, but, but, but I'm faster. If you're so fast, how come you haven't found any food? No. We've been looking for days, but there isn't any, and the babies are hungry. <laughs> yeah, we need food! <laughs> what do you sea skaters eat? Ah, we like to eat this floaty green stuff. Hey, that sounds like the plankton my friends the octonauts are looking at. It's a big green all-you-can-eat floating feast, and it's right over that way. I don't know. I usually find the food. What do we got to lose? Ready, kids? Yeah, yes. 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 Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Okay, here we go. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, and hurry. Right, skate. Don't like Left, the look right, of this wind. Any sign of Quasi? Not yet. I can't get him on the radio or the gup finder. Don't worry, Tweak. We'll find him. This isn't the first time Quasi's been lost at sea. Captain, the wind is picking up and causing some really big waves. Cap, we gotta go out and find it before... It's getting rough out there. That big patch of plankton just hit us. The radar's out. And I can't open the octo hatch. Nothing's working right. Gashi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi is lost at sea, and every door on the octopod is jammed with plankton. Oh no, Quasi's out there, while we're stuck in here. Hmm, any luck opening the octo hatch, Tweak? 
No. We gotta unjam the octa hatch before one of those waves hits Quasi. We'll find a way. We've got to make it to the octopod before these waves get any bigger. Hey, you're talking to a speed skater, man. <laughs> Can't you swim any faster? Come on, I'll race you. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> I, I had leg cramp. Sorry about that, me hearty. I didn't see you there, because you're so... Don't say little. Uh, no. I mean, yes. Uh... Coming through. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. <sighs> That's as far as I can get it. I can't get through. If Basil can't make it, who can? Janet, you did it! Captain, I found the Octo Ski! But I'm tracking a really big wave, and it's heading straight for Quasi. Let's go. Tweak, activate glider. You got it, Cap. Oh! Hang on, kids. Okay, Sally, time to bubble up. Time to what? Bubble up. Remember those little hairs I told you about? When the water gets really rough, it helps us do this. So we can breathe, even if we go underwater. Amazing! Haha, <laughs> but true! What about the babies? Well, I don't have a bubble, but you're welcome to take shelter in my octo-ski. All aboard! It's okay, hon. I've got it. <laughs> my babies! Mummy! I'll save them! <laughs> Don't be scared, kids. I've got you. Here you go. Strider! He's gone. Stay with your babies. I'll get him. We should see Quasi any minute, Cap. Nobody here. Hey, who are you calling nobody? Uh, oh, hello. Um, who are you? Oh, never mind that. These waves are getting too big. My husband and your furry friend are in danger. Strider! <laughs> need a lift? <laughs> no worries. <laughs> what makes you think I need a. <laughs> Are you all right, matey? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Poor little bug. Too small to save himself. That's not what I was thinking. Everybody needs saving sometimes, just like you saved the baby skaters. That's big! Right. You may be little, but you do big things. No, no, no. I mean that! Shiver me whiskers! Oh, we're gonna need a bigger bubble! <laughs> Hang on! <laughs> right on time, Captain! Tweak, open the windscreen! Did you miss me? <laughs> oh, I quit showing off. <sighs> it's good to see you, Quaz. You too, Tweak. Care it? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> mm. Fascinating. I've never seen something so little eat so much plankton. Uh, 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 uh. They may be little, but... We do big things. <laughs> Here we are, the 
lava tubes. Great, let's get started. Uh, I don't see any lava. That's because it's all underground. The hot lava flows under the seabed. When it dries, it makes caves like these. They're called lava tubes. Inside, it can get very hot. How hot? That's what we're going to find out. Shellington. We'll use these special thermometers to see how hot they are. But going inside a lava tube can be dangerous. So we'll check from the outside, like this. Oh, this one's very, very hot. Fascinating. I've used a thermometer lots of times to take sick creatures' temperatures. This shouldn't be too hard. Just be careful, everyone, and watch out for loose boulders and steam vents. easier if I were bigger and faster. Hey, buddy, you all right? Um, who said that? I did, down here. Uh, uh, ooh. The name's Frank. What's uh, yours? Um, Peso? Peso? We heard you shout. Is everything all right? I, I'm fine, but I found a rock, and its name is Frank. I think the heat might be getting to him, Captain. Hiya, fellas. I'm Frank. Oh! But how? Aha! Uh -huh. Fascinating. Well, what do you see? Frank isn't a rock. He's a water bear. How you doing? Water bears are tiny creatures that live all over the world. That's right. Oceans, forests, snowy mountains. We live everywhere. My uncle Gary even went into outer space. But you're so small. We may be small, but we're tough. You gotta be tough to live around here. With all the lava tubes and big rocks and sweet bad. Frank! The lava tube. Huh? What? Yeah. Time to sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> A teeny tiny water bear has fallen into a hot lava tube, and we've got to get him out. Captain, exploring lava tubes is extremely dangerous. You never know when one might suddenly erupt. Then we'll need some way to look inside and see what we're dealing with. Dashy? Already on it, Captain. This rover cam will show us the inside of the lava tube. Looks hot. I just hope Frank is all right in there. Dashy, over there. It's Frank's rock. Can you pick it up, Dashy? I'll try. Easy, easy. The heat must be damaging the rover cam, but I almost have it. Oh. Oh, no. It's too hot in there. Then we'll just have to go in and find Frank ourselves. You can't just swim into a lava tube. It's as hot as an oven in there. That's why I brought these. He's proof diving suits. These will protect you from the heat, and the octo goggles will help you see Frank. If we follow the rover cam's cable, it should lead us to Frank's rock. Oh. That doesn't sound good. Captain, there's a lot of unusual lava movement beneath the cave. It could erupt at any moment. You better find Frank quickly. Oh, uh oh, get down! Oh, I thought the whole cave was gonna collapse. Ah, I can't see. Look, the rover cat is right here in front of us. Uh, Wazi. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
These Octo goggles really do make things look bigger. Look, there's Frank's rock. Frank! He's not there. Oh, no. Faiso! Buddy! Over here! Frank! Are you all right? We're here to... ...rescue you. Hey, it's pretty great down here, ain't it? I met a lot of nice folks. There's Joe. Hi there. And Eddie. How you doing? And Laverne. Hello. And that's old Pops. Oh, uh, holy! You mean, water bears can actually live down here? We sure yep. can. <laughs> but don't you little mateys get hot? I told you we was tough. A little heat don't bother us. Catch it. The lava tube is about to erupt. We're on our way out, Dashi. You water bears should come with us. Ah, oh, we're good. We don't mind the heat. Yeah, we like it hot. Harder the better. Oh, we're happy where we are. But the whole cave is about to fill up with lava. No problem. We'll be just fine. Hold on. Did you say lava? <gasps> Not for your lives! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Our little legs don't go so fast. Here. Hop on. Don't mind if I do. I'll run it up then. Travel and stop. Oh, I stay out. Is it just me? Or is it getting hotter in here? Yow! Lava, we have to hurry. This would be a lot easier if I were bigger and faster. Come on, Hazel. Hey, My Uncle Gary always says it doesn't matter how big or fast you are, you just gotta be tough. How can you be sleepy at a time like this? When water bears get really hot, we go to sleep until it's safe to wake up. You see what I mean? Just a little bit further. Look out! Whoa! Everybody okay? I think so. Water bears? Uh, yeah, uh, we're good. Are you okay? Never yeah, better. Break me when it cools down. Good. Now let's move. Wait, where's Frank? Uh, he was just here. Yo, Frankie! Frank, where are you? He must have fallen off. He's not here. But that means he's somewhere back there. On the other side of those rocks. We can't leave him behind. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find a way to get through that rock pile. But we'll have to hurry. Allow me, Captain. Your turn. Other side. One of you will have to swim through. That tunnel's too small for me. But it's just the right size for me. <laughs> it's all up to you, Peso. I'm coming for you, Frank. <sighs> Frank, where are you? He could be anywhere. Frank, is that you? Frank! Oh, thank goodness! Blappity flippers! Peso, hurry! Oh, are we going for a ride? Gotcha, Maisie! Let's go! Octonauts, keep going! Nice one. <sighs> hey, we're outside. What did I miss? Everybody made it out of the lava tube safe and sound. You said it, and it's all thanks to Peso. Peso? Way to go! I know you had it in you, buddy. I may not be the biggest or the fastest, but I'm still tough. He sure is. You're even is. tougher than my uncle uh, Gary. Yeah, the toughest penguin I ever saw. That's our buddy. Hold still, Mr. Lobster. There, good as new. Ah, thanks, mate. 
Dashi to Peso. Come in, Peso. There's a storm heading your way and it looks like a big one. Thanks, Dashi. I'll head back to the octopod right away. That's the problem. The storm's moving fast. You won't make it back here in time. Peso, your best option is to get in the Gup E and find a safe place to wait it out. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll check back in when the storm passes. Stay safe, Peso. It'll be safe down here. Come on. Good idea. I'll just get the guppy. Oh, no. <laughs> Captain! Come in, Captain! Many, many years. Who said that? Good day, mate. Flappity flippers! <laughs> There's no need to be frightened. It's only us tree lobsters. Tree lobsters? Now, now, give him space, fellas. <laughs> we don't get guests up here very often. I'm old Howie, at your service. I'm Peso. I am. You actually live up here? Yeah, of course. But it's a giant rocky spike in the middle of the ocean. Ah, oh, you must be wondering how we got here. Well, <laughs> actually, I can't seem to remember. It all happened so long ago, you see. But uh, we've made a happy little home for ourselves up here. How many of you are there? Only 24 at the last count. Oh, aye. But once these eggs hatch, there'll be a few more. Oh. <sighs> ah, goodness me, where are my manners? You must be exhausted. Rest up, my friend. We'll look after you tonight. Thanks. I just think I need to rest my eyes for a bit. Lobsters. Oh. Where did they go? Ah, tree lobsters or no tree lobsters, I'd better get back to the octopod. Hmm. Looks like there's only one way down. Ahoy there, matey! Quasi, Captain! Glad to see you're all right, Peso. We found the guppy, but we've been searching for you all morning. You won't believe what happened to me last night. You can tell us all about it back at the Octopod. Climb aboard. Let's get you home. There were only 24 of them, and they all lived under this one tiny shrub. But then, when I woke up, they were gone. Yeah. Based on our location, it sounds like you washed up here on Ball's Pyramid. Strange. Ball's Pyramid has been explored many, many times, and nobody's ever found any tree lobsters. I've never even heard of a tree lobster before. Peso, are you sure that maybe it wasn't all just a dream? It's not unusual to have strange dreams when you're in a dangerous situation. I don't know. Maybe it was all a dream. I believe you, matey. You, you do? I've heard enough strange tales to know there's usually a scrap of truth behind them. There's got to be something in the library about these tree lobsters of yours. Come on. Mysterious island monsters, castaway creatures, exotic beasts of land and sea. Quasi, it's been hours and we still haven't found anything about tree lobsters. Just a few more books, matey. <laughs> a tree lobster? Ha <laughs> ha! I knew we'd find them. Listen to this. 
Lord Howe's island stick insects, or tree lobsters, once lived on islands off the coast of Australia. Shiver me whiskers! It's amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one has seen a living tree lobster in many years. I see one right now and it's on your head! Ah! A baby tree lobster. I must have somehow brought one of the eggs back with me. We'd better get you back home. Yow! He's getting away! Yow! Quasi, Peso, what's going on? There's a real life tree lobster loose on the ship! We have to catch him, Captain. Sound the Octo Alert! Octonaut to the H. Uh, no, um, Octonaut to the lodge. Um, follow that tree lobster! <laughs> Incredible. I've never seen anything like it. Ha-ha! <laughs> we knew that tree lobsters were real, didn't we, Peso? <laughs> He's heading for the kitchen. Watch out, vegetables! It up slowly, Tunip. We don't want to startle him. Huh? Looka, looka. Looks like he's heading for the garden pot. Let's go. I don't see the little guy anywhere, Cap. Keep looking. He's got to be around here somewhere. Huh? <sighs> Under a plant, just like home. Oh, all that running must have tired him out. He's sound asleep. We need to get him back to his home on Bull's Pyramid. Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Wake up, little fella. You're home. <coughs> you mean you climbed up there all by yourself, Peso? I did have a little help from a huge wave. Well, we'll be getting a little help from these climbing claws. Ooh. Hold on, little fella. <laughs> Shouldn't be much further now. I think the shrub is just a... Whoa. I've got you, matey. And I've got you. <laughs> Good catch, Captain. The shrub. Kind of scraggy little thing, isn't it? This is where the tree lobsters live, Peso. Yes, but where are they? <sighs> Peso! Old Howie! Huh? <laughs> You're back! And you brought little Howie Jr. with you. <laughs> Oh, we were so worried. But where were you? Well, sleeping, of course. We tree lobsters are nocturnal. We only come out at night. Well, I'll be a seen monkey's uncle. That's why no one's ever seen you before. Peso, this is an incredible discovery. You'll notice that our tribe has grown. Number 25 and 26 hatch today, and Howie Jr. here makes 27. Keep an eye on Howie Jr. He's a lively one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing him back to us. Won't you all stay the night as our guests? We'd be honoured, but we should head back home before it gets dark. Goodbye, old Howie. Goodbye, tree lobsters. Um, how do we get down from here, anyway? I think you're going to like this part, Quasi.
Say ah, please. Ah. 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 You're both perfectly healthy. Captain, these sea cucumbers can go back to their rocks now. Okay, let's go. Thanks. Ivan, I could use a checkup. Of course. What's your name? <laughs> My name's Dorian. Careful now. I'm an old jelly. I'll be very careful. <laughs> I could use a little snacky snack. Oh, <gasps> oh no! Ah! Oh, this is too scary for an old jelly like me. <laughs> now, where does that jelly go? Dorian, is that you? <laughs> what happened to your tentacles? Are you all right? Do you need help? <laughs> Captain, Quasi, follow that baby jellyfish. Uh, why are we chasing after a little baby jellyfish? A couple of minutes ago, he was a grown-up jelly. But then he turned into a baby. But grown-ups don't turn into babies. But I saw it with my own eyes. I know who might be able to explain it. Shellington? Shellington here, Captain. Shellington, take a look at this. That's a baby jellyfish, Captain. Yes, but a few minutes ago, he was a grown-up jellyfish. He was frightened by a sea turtle, and then something very strange happened. The grown-up jellyfish changed into a baby jellyfish. Yes. Jumping immortal jellyfish! Don't lose sight of that baby jelly! Right, I'll need my nightcap. I mean my notecap. Ah, I mean my notebook. Huh? Oh! Uh, uh, tunip, sound the octo alert! Octonauts, to the jelly bay! <laughs> Jelly Bay? Uh... Do that Jelly Bay never lunch today. Oh, ah, oh, thanks, Tunip. Uh, one more time. Octonauts, to the launch bay! Shellington, what's going on? Captain, this is so exciting. You found an immortal jellyfish. I, you, you still have him, don't you? <laughs> right here. Safe and sound. What's so exciting about it, matey? An immortal jellyfish can do something no other creature can do. Turn back into a baby and start its life all over again. So that means an immortal jelly can live forever? Yes, unless something eats it. Don't worry, I've got it. Captain, the immortal jelly is the only creature in the world who makes this amazing change. I've never had the chance to see one for myself. Until now, we'll keep this baby immortal jelly safe until you can get here. Thank you, Captain. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh. Oh. Uh, wait, uh, where's my notebook? Uh, and my magnifying glass. Uh, oh, thanks, Tunit. No, no, I'll drive. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Be careful, Shellington. Oh, don't worry. Right. Uh, oh, 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 oh. 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 oh, that's better. Captain, I'm on my way. I'll be there as fast as I can. All right, Shellington, but don't worry. We'll take good care of this baby jelly. Now all we have to do is to wait for Shellington. Shellington, Shellington. Oh, where are all those bubbles coming from? <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah! Whoa. Oh no! Where's Dorian? There, mateys! <gasps> We've got to catch that jelly before the whale swallows it. <laughs> It's heading for the whale's mouth. <laughs> Time for some tickling. Tickling? We'll tickle the whale to keep his mouth open long enough to grab the baby jelly. Quasi, you take the tail, 
I'll take the belly, and Peso... I'll take the jelly. Let's go. Activate Tickle. <laughs> yeah, got you. <laughs> hey, hey. Whoa, you guys. <laughs> now that was a good laugh. Phew. Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Come in, Shellington. How's the baby immortal jelly? Oh, he's doing just fine. Except that he almost got swallowed by a whale. <gasps> swallowed by a whale? <laughs> Don't worry. The baby jelly is safe and sound. It might be a good idea uh, to set him down somewhere on a nice, secure... <laughs> rock! Yes, a growing jelly goes through big changes. First, the baby attaches to a rock. Next, it turns into a polyp. And then the polyp turns into the grown-up jelly. Understood. We'll find a rock then. And I'll see you soon, Captain. Shellington, out. Out, out of the way! I'll just get us going again. Uh... <laughs> the, the gap's not working. We need another way to travel. Swimming will take too long. Booster, booster. Booster packs. Good thinking, Tunip. Activate booster packs. <laughs> Whoa. This looks like a good spot for the baby jelly. Here you go. No. <laughs> I think he likes it, matey. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. No, that's more like it. Dorian, is that you? Of course it's me, man. I've just been going through some changes, that's all. I've gone from a baby to a polyp, and it won't be long until I'm all grown up again. I hope Shellington gets here in time to see it happen. Uh, not far. Now, let's boost uh, our speed. Broke the booster packs. I'm sorry, Tunip. Shalada. Tunip? Oh, good thinking, Tunip. To the coral reef, please. Next stop, the coral reef. And you better hold on tight. <gasps> what is it, Dorian? I'm feeling a little funny. <sighs> you don't have a fever. Does anything hurt? Are you hungry? Or sleepy? No, no. It's, it's like I need to sneeze or a hiccup or make a change. What is this it? <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> Look at me. I'm all grown up. And Shellington missed it, Captain. Oh, no. That sailfish is coming right for me. <laughs> oh, amazing. I got to see him turn into a baby jelly right before my eyes. You got here just in time, Shellington. Super, super. Well... We hit a teeny bump here and there, but mostly it was smooth sailing. Right, Tunip? man. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Captain Barnacles to Shellington, how's your exploration of the coral reef going? Wonderfully, Captain. We've discovered something amazing. A huge stone archway. Uh, you there? Can you help us? Help you? Um, how? Oh, we've got cracks in the archway. And if the cracks keep cracking, the whole thing could come crashing down. <gasps> He's right. The cracks are weakening the arch. It could collapse any moment. Hmm. Is there any way to repair it? I don't think there's time for that, Captain. The cracks are already too big. Right. You'd better move the creatures attached to the arch to a safe area nearby. And be sure to warn other creatures who live around the arch, too. Aye, aye, Captain. We're on it. What was that? What was what? I don't see anything. I don't either now. I thought I saw something sticking up out of that burrow. Maybe just a shadow or a puff of sand. Hmm. Well, that's everyone. Maybe. I just want to make sure. Hello? Anyone home? You're wasting your time. I've never seen anybody come or go out of that burrow. I know I saw something. <laughs> Howdy! I'm Gilbert. Hello, Gilbert. What you looking at? We were looking to see if there's anyone down in this burrow. Of course there is. That's Mama's burrow. Who's Mama? Our Mama! If your Mama lives down there, you have to warn her that... Oh, <laughs> fish certainly do come and go quickly in these burrows. I think I know how to get to the bottom of this. The Rover Cam. It's a camera that can squeeze into tight places. If there's anything in there, we'll see it on this screen. <laughs> peek -a -boo. Gilbert, is that you? <laughs> Didn't we just see him swim into that burrow over there? I think it might be one big burrow with different entrances. Look! Whoa. Jumping jellyfish. Amazing! You want to meet Mama? This way! <laughs> Lots of hallways and rooms in this house, huh? <laughs> Mama, we've got company! Hey! Out of here, you! Out, out, out! Maybe I can tempt her out. You the fella I saw earlier? Yes, and I saw you too. Can you come out? We need to talk to you. You can talk to me right here. I'm a convict fish and I never come out. But uh, we met your children out here. We go out and bring Mama food. We're just about to get her some lunch. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? And make it quick. Uh, I'm afraid you and your burrow are in danger. The arch above you is about to collapse. You need to move somewhere else. <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear me. A grown-up convict fish like me never leaves her burrow. Now, good day to you. Oh, the arch is getting weaker by the minute. Dashi, how's everything going out there? I'm afraid there's a problem, Captain. There's a convict fish right under the archway and she won't leave her burrow. I think you might want to... Sound the octo-alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> 